In this lecture, we will discuss the example problem to solve the best strategy of a game by applying dominance rule. Let us see the problem. Players A and B play a game in which each has 3 coins that is 5 pies, 10 pies and 20 pies coins. Each select a coin without the knowledge of the other's choice. If the sum of the coins is an odd amount, then A wins B's coin. But if the sum is even, then B wins A's coin. Find the best strategy for each player and the values of the game. Let us see the solution. Here, player A having the three strategies that is A1, A2 and A3 are the 5 pies, 10 pies and 20 pies coins. Similarly, player B also having the three strategies that is B1, B2 and B3 are the 5 pies, 10 pies and 20 pies coins. If sum of the coins is an odd amount, then A wins B's coin. If sum of the coins is an even amount, then B wins A's coin. So, draw the payoff matrix based on this condition. First to select the first strategy of the player A that is 5 pies and player B's first strategy that is 5 pies. So, sum of the these coins is that is 5 pies coin plus 5 pies coins equal to the 10 pies. So, it is the even amount. Then B wins the A's coin that is 5 pies. So, here player A point of view, A lose the game and the value of the game is the 5. So, here minus 5. Next to player A strategies 10 pies and player B strategy is the 5 pies. So, sum is the 5 pies plus 10 pies that is equal to the 15 pies. 15 pies is the odd amount. Then A wins the B's coin. So, B having the 5 pies coin. So, value of the game is the plus 5. Next one is the player A having the 20 pies coin. Player B having the 5 pies coin. So, sum is the 20 plus 5 equal to the 25. So, 25 is the odd amount. So, A wins the B square that is 5 pies. So, game value is the plus 5. Next to player A 5 pies and player B is the 10 pies. So, sum is the 5 plus 10 15 pies. It is the odd amount. Then A wins the B coin. So, B coin is the 10 pies. So, value is the plus 10. Next to player A, 10 pies. Player B is 10 pies. So, 10 plus 10 equal to the 20 pies. It is the even. So, B wins the A coin. That is the 10 pies. So, here A, player A point of view, it is the negative minus he lose the game so value is the 10 that is the minus 10 next to player a 20 pies player b is 10 pies sum is the 20 plus 10 equal to the 30 pies so it is the even so b wins the a's coin so a having the 20 pies coin so value is the minus 20 next to player a 5 pies player b 20 pies. Sum is the 5 plus 20, 25 pies. So, 25 is the odd amount. So, A wins the B's coin that is the 20 pies coin. So, value is the plus 20. Next to player A, 10 pies. Player B, 20 pies. So, 10 plus 20 that is the 30. 30 pies is the even amount. So, B wins the A's coin that is the 10 pies. So, value is the minus 10. 
Next to player A 20 pies, player B also 20 pies coins. Sum of these coins is the 20 plus 20 equal to the 40 pies. So 40 pies is the odd amount, sorry even amount. Then the B wins the A's coin, so value is the minus 20. Next we have to check the saddle point of the game by mini max and the maximum principle. First we have to determine the mini max value. For this one I have to determine the row minimum. First we have to calculate the minimum value in the first row among the minus 5, 10 and 20. Among these three values minimum value is the minus 5. Next minimum value for the second row that is 5, minus 10 and minus 10. Among these three values minimum value is the minus 10. Next third row. Third row elements are the 5, minus 20, minus 20. Among these values minimum value is the minus 20. So next you have to select the among this minimum value you have to choose the maximum value is the maximum mini value. Among this minimum values that is minus 5, minus 10 and minus 20 maximum value is the minus 5. So maximum in value equal to the minus 5. So next we have to calculate the mini max. For this one I have to determine the maximum value for the all the columns. First we have to determine the maximum value in the first column. So first column elements are the minus 5, 5, 5. Among this one maximum value is the 5. Similarly in the second column 10 minus 10 and minus 20 maximum value is the 10. In the third column 20 minus 10 and minus 20 among these elements so maximum one is the 20. So among the maximum elements we have to select the minimum value. So it is the mini max value. So among the maximum values that is 5, 10 and 20 among these three values minimum value is the 5 then 5 is the mini max value. Here mini max equal to the 5 and maxi mini equal to the minus 5. So mini max is not equal to the maxi mini. Then the given game does not having a saddle point. Then we have to apply the principle of the dominance rule to reduce the size of payoff matrix by deleting the those strategies which are dominated by others. First applying the dominance rules for the rows, we know that if all the elements in a row let consider x r should be less than or equal to the corresponding elements of the any another row let consider y r. Then we have to delete the row x r. For this first we have to determine the row total. First row total is the minus 5 plus 10 plus 20 equal to the 25. Second row total is 5 minus 10 and minus 10 equal to the minus 50. Third row total is 5 minus 20 and minus 20 equal to the minus 35. Among these values select the least value that is minus 35 and corresponding row is the third row. So select the third row, let consider XR, then compare the all the elements in the third row with the another rows. First we have to compare the third row element with the first row. So third row that is XR elements are 5 minus 20 minus 20 and first row that is YR elements are the minus 5 minus 10 and minus 10. Then compare the XR element with the YR. First we have to compare with the first element of the XR that is 5 with the first element in the row YR that is minus 5. So here 5 is greater than the minus 5 but here condition is XR is less than or equal to the YR. So condition is not satisfied. Then compare the second row elements that is 5 minus 10 minus 10 with the third row element that is 5 minus 20 and minus 20. Here 
5 equal to the 5 and minus 20 is less than the minus 10 and minus 20 is less than the minus 10. So, condition is satisfied. Then in the given payoff matrix, all the elements in the third row are less than or equal to the corresponding elements in the second row. Therefore, have to delete the third row. Then payoff matrix is the player A having the two strategies. Here we are de deleting the third row that is the third strategy. So, player A having the only two strategies that is A1 and A2. But player B, we are not dele deleted the any column. So, player, player B having the three strategies that is B1, B2 and B3. Next applying the dominus rules for the columns and we know that when the if all the elements in column should be greater than or equal to the corresponding elements of the in any another column that is yc then we have to delete the column xc for this first we have to determine the column total then first column total is the summation of the minus 5 and 5 so minus 5 plus 5 equal to the 0 Second column total is the 10 minus 10 is equal to 0. Third column total is the 20 minus 10 equal to the 10. Among these values, select the maximum value that is the 10 and corresponding column is the third column. So, select the third column. Let consider the XC. Then compare the third column element with the first column. Here, third column elements that is xc elements are the 20 and minus 10 first column that is yc elements are the minus 5 comma 5 here 20 is greater than the minus 5 but minus 10 is not greater than the 5 here condition is all the element of the xc is greater than or equal to the corresponding elements of the yc so condition is not satisfied then compare the second column elements that is 10 minus 10 with the third column elements that is 20 and minus 10. Here 20 is greater than the 10 and minus 10 equal to the minus 10. So condition is satisfied. Then in the given payoff matrix all the elements in the third column are greater than or equal to the corresponding elements in the second column. Then we have to delete the third column. Then the payoff matrix will become the here. We are deleting the third column that is the third strategy for the player B. Then pay, payoff matrix will become the player A having the two strategies that is A1 and A2. Similarly, player B also having the two strategies that is B1 and B2. So, since here no row or column dominated to the another row or column. Then the payoff matrix is the 2 by 2 payoff matrix. Then this 2 by 2 game can be solved by the arithmetic method. Let consider P1 and P2 are the probability of selection of A1 and A2 strategies for the player A. And Q1 and Q2 are the probability of selection of B1 and B2 strategies for the player B. Then we know these formulas in the arithmetic method that is the P1 equal to the A22 minus A21 divided by A11 plus A22 minus of A12 plus A21 and P2 is the 1 minus P1. Similarly, Q1 equal to the A22 minus A12 divided by a11 plus a22 minus of a12 plus a21 and q2 is the 1 minus q1 and value of the game v equal to the a11 into a22 minus a12 into a21 divided by a11 plus a22 minus of a12 plus a21. Let us consider here in the 2 by 2 payoff matrix a11 is the minus 5 a12 equal to the 10 and a21 is the 5 and a22 is the minus 10. Then substitute these values 
in the formulas of the P1 and Q1 and the value of the game V. First we have to substitute this A11, A12 and A21 and A22 values in the P1 equation. So we will get the P1 value that is the probability of selection of A1 strategy for the player A is the 1 by 2 and P2 is the 1 minus P1 it is also equal to the 1 by 2. Similarly we have to substitute this A11, A12, A21 and A22 values in the Q1 equation. We will get the Q1 value is the 2 by 3 and Q2 is the 1 minus 2 by 3 it is the 1 by 3. So it is probability of the selection of B1 strategy for the player B is the 2 by 3 and probability of selection of B2 strategy is the 1 by 3. Then similarly have to substitute this A11, A12, A21 and A22 values in the V that is the value of the game equation. We will get the value of the game is the 0. Then optimal strategy for the player A is the 1 by 2, comma 1 by 2, comma 0. Similarly optimal strategy for the player B is the 2 by 3, comma 1 by 3, comma 0. So this is the solution and thank you.